listening to the Coach Kyle Show. Hi there. Welcome, welcome to the Coach Kayo Show. Um, Kayo Day here. Remember, if you now, if you now join in the show, if you are um, someone who oftentimes join the show, uh, this show we talk all things soccer. Um, more or less. But we have a key objective. But before I even go there, let me quickly remind you that greater is he that is in us um, than he that is in the world. Like I said, it's a it's talk all things soccer show. This is your life podcast um, that we broadcast every Saturday uh, from 8.30 p.m. Eastern time. And oftentimes we we talk about the holistic um, aspect of um, soccer, what allows uh, an individual to become a high performer. So our objective uh, will continue to, to be um, that we want to inspire our young people they want to try and make an impact and influence them in a in a positive way that they they can live out their purpose. They can um, accomplish something greater than what uh, the expectations are uh, from common people. So bear with uh, bear with with me. If it's not, we're not talking about X and O's and and technical practices. And um, there's a place for that. Um, If you have a chance to go back and check our channel on on YouTube, Kyrie McKinnon and Co. It's a good time to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you have access to that. We obviously, you know, add that in um, in this show. More importantly, we try to target the, uh, the behavior, the attitude that really pushes your ambition, pushes your gift, um, and really uplift your purpose. So it's like a roadmap because you need a certain behavior, you need a certain attitude, you need you need certain tools to be able to perform um, in a game of soccer. And those tools are not necessarily stuff that you do on the field, but stuff that prepare you um, that when you make that transition to the field, everything is connected. Everything creates this ebb and flow uh, that allow you to perform at a high level. So I hope that you're making your way in. Um, please let me know that you're here. It's always nice to know that. Please do share, share, share that we continue to um, inspire our youth, that we continue to inspire others who have information, quality information, that can be passed on um, to oftentimes people who don't really have the access uh, to these things. So the more you bring something to light that you believe is positive uh, from your perspective, that is, the more it attracts positive uh, people. And because it attracts positive people, it it will garner positive messages that will empower our youth and that's 
the whole purpose of um, this platform and why I constantly ask for you to share. So please do that. Um, remember, you can get this podcast on Spotify, Anchor, wherever you listen to your podcast. And obviously, it's live now on Facebook, live on YouTube. Um, so utilize it as much as you want to share your comments, <clears throat> ask your questions, have a perspective um, so that we can we can learn something. That does the whole purpose. Uh, one of the big purposes of this show is that we continue learning lessons so that we can grow. So don't be stingy with it. Share. Um, share your thoughts. Ask your questions so that we can have something that is fruitful. So by now, you know what the show is about. If you knew, we want to discuss uh, in this podcast, have an open discussion about, you know, things change. Things change. And, and it's important to know. It's important to know that things will change. Regardless of where you are now, regardless of um, what you've experienced, in, in regards to what you might be going through, good, bad, or indifferent, things will change. As a soccer player, you might be thinking that you're not good enough now, or you might be thinking that you are really good now. Things will change. But before we dive into this topic, and I can promise you this 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 um this podcast will be quick, short, short and sharp. Um so that we could get about our business. Um so please do stay tuned. Invite someone in. Um, share again, share. Don't be afraid to share. There's no cost to sharing. There's nothing. It's just uh, you just need to hit share. It's 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 that easy. It's easier than ABC. And one, two, three is just hit the share button um, so that we can have this authentic discussion. Um, it's unscripted dis discussion and I would I would like to think an uncommon one within the soccer environment within soccer context. So, a quick interruption to reintroduce or introduce you to our, our KMX XVI merch. Um, obviously, we have stuff for each for every single weather. Um, if you feel in your heart to support, then do so. We'll take a, a quick break and then we'll jump back in. Um, this discussion. We'll be right back. Coyote McKinnon and company are ready to dress you in one of their most stylish, comfortable and attractive athletic gears this fall for you to achieve that desired athletic goal. Check out their online store today for your joggers, tank tops, bras, backpacks, sweatshirts, and everything else you'll need to complete that look. It's Coyote McKinnon and Company. We care. Welcome back uh, to the Coach Kyo Show. Uh, Kyo Day here. If you're now joining, welcome, welcome, welcome. Please do share. Um, I want to, you know, want to send a shout out to 
um, Michio, Stefan, Simone, and uh, the passing of their uh, dad, um, Charlie Couchman, someone who, um, as a as a youth, you know, really, um, really inspired me, really pushed me uh, in the direction of, of playing the game of football. Um, really, a, uh, was always a, a good support. There's few people that you can can really say that. There's few people that I can really say encourage me to play this game and. Um, always had a positive word. Always, always looked out. Um, um, it, it's sad, um, and 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 I and I pray that you know strength would be passed on to uh, those who might be um, dealing with uh, this loss and who had a close relationship uh, to him. But you know, wanted to send some blessings and, and, and some strength on that side. So, but like everything else, you know, things things change. And, and it's very important. I don't remember a time that I've I've done an interview or I've, or, or I've talked about soccer without, you know, showing the gratitude uh, to, to, to him um, for how, and he did it for a lot of youth. A lot of young players, a lot of uh, young men within the community I retrieve Linden Guyana. So I know a lot more people will um, share these sentiments, but nevertheless, you know, you you don't wait for people to to move on to to show your gratitude. You make sure <clears throat> that you understand the importance of letting them know while they're what they've done and how uh, they have helped you so because things will change things will change you don't know when it will happen um, and that's the reality of life i firmly believe that you know change is the only uh, constant thing is the only constant thing um, and people are very afraid of it they're very afraid like it's not going to happen like you being afraid that it, it will it will in some way or shape divert and go in a different direction. No, it's coming to you. Regardless of who you are, regardless of where you are, regardless of what you think, what you think you are, what you think you have, there is a time that things will change. And you know, I try to inspire young people that. You, you you have to start with a purpose. You have to forget goals for now. Um, you have to start with something that continuously f fuels you to, to move forward. Um, you can set a goal, you get to that goal, and then you've got to ask yourself, what is next? But purpose, it's lifetime. And understanding, understanding who you are, understanding why you're here, there, there is a, a constant fueling to move you forward every single day. And not every single person, not every single young person that plays the game of soccer can tell you where they see themselves next five, ten years. And that is okay. Nothing is wrong with that. I know a lot of people like to make you think you need to look 10 years down the line, <clears throat> five years down the line. And in some ways, it's it's something that you can you can think about, something that you can, as complex as it is, because who really know what what can change in a day or in a week, in a minute, in a second. And sometimes when you can't see that 10 year, uh, that 10 year plan or that, uh, that 10 year plan, yes, coming into fruition, you, you kind of think, well, it's a waste of time. But change could happen at any point in time. 
So it's important also to have this purpose, this, this desire for something that is greater than you, that every single day, every single second, it could come down to seconds, every single minute, maybe every single week, it must mean something to you. It must mean something when you get up. This thing must make you want to get up. Because you don't know what can change. And some people will say, well, you are crazy, you, you know. But what type of life if you don't have a five, ten year plan of what you're going to do? Well, what happens if you wake up and, and you, 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 something, you feel a pain and you go to the doctor and it says, the, you, you found that you have something that can kill you in, 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 in six months. What good is your 10 year plan? I can guarantee you that change will make you start appreciating every day of your life. That change will quickly help you to put things into perspective. That thing, whatever that thing is that is deadly, make you create an, a mindset where you learn to appreciate every single day that you wake up. Because you might be counting down the days that you might not be here. So you want to give your all and you want to give everything. You want to be as happy as possible. You want to try to do as much as you can because you know, one, you know things have changed and you know it's about to change even further. And, and, and that is that is what I want more young people when embarking on something like soccer or, you know, or any other sport because they might be, you know, athletes who listen to this live podcast or who might be struggling with these things also where because they can't see what will happen in the next five years, they oftentimes give up. They believe this that nothing will change. And I'm here to remind you that the only constant thing is change. Wherever you are right now, things can change. And it will change. It will change. It don't matter what that change is, it will change. You can be sure of that. Um, I believe you can play. You can play a role in terms of where that change can lead to. Because as a man think it in his heart, so is he. Excuse me. So there's something that there's some way or shape you can uh, kind of put yourself in a position, not necessarily determine the outcome, but you can put yourself in a position where you can find favor. You can find favor. Um, and why, why I say that, because purpose is a gift that was given to you. Remember the, the, the point of before you were formed, um, you were ordained and sanctified. That, that means you were given something, a gift. And your gift can make, the gift will make room for you and bring you before great men. So you, you have some responsibility to kind of navigate or not navigate or guide what type of favor you can garner through these changes. So 
you don't always have to make these quantum leap as young athletes. You don't have to oftentimes see what is two years down the line or three years down the line or five years down the line because things can change in an instant. Is it more important for you to believe and to, uh, to respect that you've been given a gift that was uh, that was sanctified, that was pure, that was right just for you so that you can let your light shine that others will see and glorify the Father who also have given them gift. So it's, we have to respect that things will change. It's, it's, it's very important to know that. It's easier to be discouraged. It's, it's easier to be frustrated with where you are, what is happening. and uh, But this podcast is to truly remind you that there's a change coming. And if you think that you are there already and you 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 lack the humility, you lack the uh, you lack any amount of accountability or responsibility for your behavior and your actions that that consistent with the expectations and the standards, then there's a change coming also. So change is happening regardless if you want it or not. And you must believe that regardless of which side of the fence you're standing on, there's change coming. Things will change. It must. And none of us um, have the ability to stop that. I want to identify three key things that I believe uh, will change, regardless of what, whatever you think, whatever you, whatever your your wherever your mind is. Uh, I believe these three things must change. They will change. But I want to give you I want to give you an opportunity to you know share this live podcast, get some more young people in because I believe it's important that they understand that there's too many young people leaving um, the sport because um, people are making them think and it's not just the sport. But it's affecting their whole psyche. It's affecting how they think about themselves, how they carry themselves. So it's important to get them in because and after this Iron K Just Clean, um, our learning corner, we want to really um, dive into this situation um, because, you know, like I said, 75%, the last time I checked, it's about 75% of players are leaving sport, sporting disciplines between the ages of 13 and 17 um, at a lower rate between uh, the the 6, 7, 6 um, to 12 within soccer, you call that zone 1 where it's all foundational and um, it's all technical development and mastery uh, and that is the, the, the part where they have the most curiosity and they they want to keep trying things and they but then they get to the age where it's not it's not just about trying things but it's more about discovery uh, within a more a more structured uh, environment in, in in a bit more um you you have to focus a bit more on the game intelligence side of things and this is where the change when that change come you see how how the the will, the desire, the um, 
the ability to go beyond what is in front of them becomes very challenging. Very, very challenging. And because they don't expect that things will change. Um, they believe that the, the comfort that they have now will forever be and not ready to adapt and, and to uh, come in accordance to this constant thing of change. So it's very important. Please do invite, please do share, please um, share your views if you've encountered this and um, if you have some amount of perspective that we all can learn from as we go through this process. So we'll be right back just after this. Let me give you a view from if the if the ball starts if the build up starts from the goalkeeper how are you how are you forcing the opposition to play this way so one of the things you can do is you can start your 9 really high and start your 11 in that position by doing that, you can get to this pass quicker. So oft, obviously, the keeper looking at that would normally want to play here. This forces them to challenge this side of the field, which allow you to transfer the marking. What it allows you to do is stay with your three versus three in this situation. Welcome back to the Coach Kayo Show. Kayo Day here. Things will change. Things change um, in life. It will continue to change. Um, we cannot stop that. We have to learn to live. We have to learn to live through it. Excuse me. We have to make reservations for it. Um, we have to respect it. We have to honor it because it's coming. It's coming. Wherever you are right now, change is coming. If you been very comfortable and very happy and, and life seems like everything is perfect for you, there will be a change. If you're struggling and nothing can go right for you in this moment, like everything seems like it's going downhill, uh, Change is coming. And maybe you playing uh, you playing some role in what is happening in your life. It don't change the fact that change will come. That change could make it worse until you understand where you need to go to make that change again, for that change to happen again, to get you on the, the path that you're supposed to go. Um, but things will change. You, you can't do nothing about it. That's something that that young people and it's kind of it, it's 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 on my chest. I'm trying to go to this thing, but it's you've seen a behavior in young people now that. It is so, it is so loose. It's so like, I just have to enjoy life and I just have to do whatever I want. Um, I just could behave however I want. I could live however I want. And and what is, what is dangerous about that is they are not ready for the change.
because they believe because because they believe their situation now give them this level of freedom and it feels so comfortable they believe it's going to be like that forever this may be some some people just don't know how to deal with them. Maybe parents don't know what to do. Because they, they'll, they'll say, well, they'll do it anyway. It don't matter what I do. That might be true. There's so many things that you have to consider when you think about disciplining your child. And, 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 and you know, something I didn't have to deal with. When I was, when I was growing up, um, you cross the line. <laughs> it's like a war zone. When you cross the line, your life will flash before your eyes, and you will see everything, uh, everything that you don't want to see. And then you change your story. You don't want to go down that direction anymore. And if you, if you had gone in that direction. What you were met with, you don't want an encounter again. So you quickly understood that things can change <laughs> in the twinkling of an eye. I don't believe it's the same thing now. So there's a lot of freedom without knowledge, without understanding of what that life will change. And the things that you encourage, with the things that you encounter in now, the thing that you believe is so comfortable because you have so much freedom to do what you want, and, and no one is, um, you know, there's a fear uh, to apply discipline. I remember one story with a young player, and very indisciplined, very indisciplined, um, getting in, getting in trouble with the school and everything else. And, and, and had to sit down with the parent and, and, and this, this, this individual was like, then had no care in the world. You know, you talk about kids being spoiled. Well, this player was really spoiled. And I, I claim spoilers. You are, when I say spoil, you are um, rewarded for bad behavior. So people give you things so you can calm yourself down. They give you things so you can behave yourself. They promise you stuff so that you could go in the right direction while you're going in the wrong direction for me. So spoil is where people reward you for bad behavior. And remember... Um, they were trying to get him, get the player to be very, to be respectful and to you know, kind of change his actions and his behavior. And, you know, young person, young, young guy, and he wasn't having none of it. I remember his dad said to me, he said, I don't want to I don't want to to discipline him because I'm afraid that he might just do something crazy. He might run away. He might like wow. You're in a bind. That's a serious thing. The thing that is needed to put this young man in the in, 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 in the part where his life could be meaningful is now must be neglected because of what the outcome might be. So now it has to become an ex, an, an acceptable thing that will come with some change.
change that most people might not be ready for. Excuse me. So that's that. And it's happening in every, in, in more ways than that. And for you young people listening to this, you should desire discipline. You should desire rules. You should desire standards. You should desire expectations. Don't fall into the trap of freedom. That's a trap. Especially when you don't have no knowledge. There's a place and there's a time to express yourself and to share your feelings because um, you need to learn. You need to understand and to navigate those feelings and those things that you're struggling with, uh, with guidance, with wisdom, with understanding. But don't fall into the trap that you have all these, all of this freedom to do what you want, say what you want, go wherever you want, dress however you want, speak however you want, uh, with no rules, with no standards, with, with nothing. You, you have all of these privileges. You speak to adults however you want. I go to a particular field and there's seven, eight, nine-year-old, ten-year-old kids and you don't want to hear the conversation. How loose they are. They're uttering things in, in bright daylight. <laughs> And it's that freedom and there's grown people around and no one will, they're afraid to even say something because the amount of trouble you can get into. And that child don't know that there's something that called change is brewing and it's coming. And they're not ready. They're not ready. Because life is hard. Life is difficult. There's things that will always caught you off guard. Especially, you know, some people, they, they, you know, some people go through life and they're like, so nothing good could happen for me. It's just bad, 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 bad. Like, I don't understand why these things are happening to me. Life is hard. There's some people who enjoy life and they benefiting from others and they they have this blanket of of, of comfort that they're utilizing and they feel like, yeah, it's going to be forever. No, it's not. Things will change. You young people, you must understand. I'm encouraging you to don't fall into the trap. Get around some people, get around some situations that will challenge you, that will make you uncomfortable about the, the way you carry yourself. The, 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 you know, no one is perfect and you need that. You, you don't have to be perfect because if you if you claim to be perfect or you want to be so perfect, then where will be the room for learning? And life is forever evolving and changing. 
and you want to always be in that position where learning is something of importance because when the change come, uh, you must be ready. You must be equipped. You must have some you must have some foundation in your life that will tell you that's okay. It's okay. Yeah, it's hard. It's difficult. It's uh, It makes me uncomfortable, but it's okay. It's part of life. It's I've been here before where I had to learn. I had to develop. I had to change. It's, no, it's a norm now. But when you're in a comfortable place and and... Now it's good and it's happy and you have all this freedom. It's easy to dismiss that standards, discipline, rules, those things matter. It don't matter because you're comfortable. You don't want no one to mess with that comfort. And I tell you, on the soccer field, it's 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 constant. Because there must be a regression phase when you want to move to the next level because you're learning new things. Every level will have new new expectations. You are, you are a, a, a fundamental player. You're in that phase where you're trying to master technique and then you move to a, uh, 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 to a phase where it's about task and roles and you and it's new because you now have to take the technique and apply it uh, and, and be so that you can become more skilled understanding when understanding where understanding who understanding what understanding why and that's a that's a new way that is a big challenge. And because you weren't prepared to that in the first phase, now you come to this phase and you, you will have to regress because you have to give time to adaptation. You have to give time to it. And it's that change that is constant when not realized at a young age, what do you think will happen? If you want to take soccer out of it, this is a talk all things soccer podcast. But just let's say you take soccer out of it. It's the same. You allow your you allow your nine year old to do whatever they want, speak however they want, and you say, "Well, they they are young; they will do whatever they want." You allow your nine-year-old to walk on somebody's feel and pick this stuff up and and oh and it, it's so happy instead of that's not what you do. You don't touch things that it that don't belong to you. Or you walk over and you can I? Is it possible for me to use your ball or something? No. Oh, they're just a kid. They just oh no, no. No, no. Because now you're teaching them that they could pick up stuff that don't belong to them. They could touch stuff that is not theirs. Be just because they feel. Just because that child feel they want it and they feel it, they can do it. You like, yeah. And then like, oh, when they already when they or <laughs> when <laughs> when in the act of doing it or they already did it. Then you say, oh, no, that's not right. What about, that's not what you do. This is what you do. You ask. Maybe you teach them that. So they don't go through life thinking they could get whatever they want. They could pick up whatever they want. They could touch whatever they want. Oh, it's nothing. Why is it nothing? Train up the child. Everything that you do, everything that you allow, everything that you, everything that you say, whatever you do, it's it begins to formulate and it begins to uh, encode and, and 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 what you seen as a man is what has happened as a child. If <laughs> nothing is just dropping out of thin air. It's 
things being called back, things that are inside is being called back in, in different situations and different moments. And see, well, then you have the people who say things will change automatically in behaviors. Yeah, it will change automatically, but it will be changed by what is already inside. That's why in soccer we talk about perception. Because when you're on the field, if you if you if you desire to be a high performer, when you're on the field, nothing that you're doing is actually in the present. And maybe you need a deeper understanding to what I'm saying. It's not happening in the present. This is why it's called perception. It's something that has been there before that is constantly calling back. That's why you see kids, they, 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 they have a ball and they will just run straight off the field. The brain don't know what else to do with it. The brain cannot, they cannot change the direction to go in an opposite direction because they don't, they, nothing is happening there. They are just, they see something in front of them that calls space and they just go and they just run straight off the field. And then they, and then you look at the nine and, and eight and, and seven year old kids who are just playing soccer. They will run straight off a of field and then they will, then they will hear a whistle and then they operate like that was the right thing to do because they were trying to just keep playing. And then you look at the seven-year-old who've been trained to change direction, who've been taught how to uh, understand the way the lines are on the field and what you can do with those lines, and you will see a totally bit different behavior. So you've got to, what whatever someone is doing, it's whatever they've done, those things are being called back in an environment that you're not allowed to use your conscious brain. That's why you have unconscious competence on a soccer field if you're a high performer. It is too common now where there's so much freedom but no knowledge, no understanding. There's no preparedness for these young people anymore. They're going through life. They're going through life with their, with this freedom where they could slam doors in front of the slam doors in their parents' face and and they do all of these things and oh he's oh he she they're just expressing themselves. No, they're doing it because they don't get what they want. That that is the rule. That is what that's what they understand. I don't get what I want. Then I respond in this manner. Because this behavior triggers something. Then they have a life. They have to live their life on their own for varying reasons. What do you think will happen to them when things change? The suicidal rate is getting higher and higher and higher in young people. Because they're not ready for when things change. They don't understand that where they are at present don't have to be the final destination because what is constant is change. But you have to fight for it. I don't care where you are. I don't care what has happened, what is happening to you. Like you have to believe and if you can't see a week down the line, try and see a day. S stay with a day. Look forward for tomorrow. Oh, I, I, 
I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Something good will happen to me. Something good. And if you're struggling with just seeing another day, take it down to hours. I, I believe in the next hour, boy, something can happen to me. Something good can come out of this. Something will change. And even if you're struggling with hours, just take you could go down to minutes if you want to. It don't matter. Stay, stay, stay with change. Stay with it. It cannot be the same forever. So it's important for you to understand that. Don't want freedom so bad that you neglect standards, discipline, rules, structure. Because you will need it. You will need it. You cannot survive without discipline. You cannot. Discipline is a bad word now. It's a word that makes people so uncomfortable. Coaches can't discipline players anymore. Who dare you discipline? You're you're not there for that. You're there to put cones down and let the kids run and kick the ball. Excuse me. Discipline is not it's not taught. Had a young player, just could see from the body language of the player that something was off, something was wrong, seemed to be very tired. And I said, you know, if you play the game long enough, you, you know, you get certain, certain inklings and that you, you start figuring out certain things and certain, from certain behaviors. So it's like, did you play a game before you, you came here? The player was like, no, I didn't. I said, did you play a game before you came here? Speak the truth. I said, yeah, coach, I went and play a game. So I said, you know, you're not supposed to be doing that. Yes, yes, coach, I know. Why did you do that? My mom told me to lie. Don't let the coach know that you played the game. <laughs> I'll just leave that there. <clears throat> What's up, Marsha? Good to see you. So I got a couple of minutes, so I'll... it's happening. That's why I'll just leave that. It's happening. And there's there is deeper things than than just that. And you you understand, you understand why uh, scorches you better guard yourself and you better uh, pray and cover yourself in every way possible because you have a great responsibility. It shouldn't be taken lightly because change is coming. Things will change. For you also, for all of us, <laughs> no one is indispensable. Things will change. Even Joseph knew that. So there's a time for harvest and there'll be a time for famine. But what I do in the harvest, uh, I must store up because I'm wise enough to know <laughs> that there's a famine coming. And not because I've done a good job, it changed the fact that the famine must come. 
It's the readiness. Is what was important to know there. The readiness. The readiness for change. Because it's, it will happen. It will happen. Are you ready? And one of those key things for me is thinking. Because if you want it or not, your thinking will change. Remember, this thing could go to the left. It could go to the right. You could adapt to bad behaviors. You could adapt to good behaviors. But your thinking will change. I, I guarantee you. Um, if you have any desire to be impactful or to have influence on both sides of the fence, negative and positive, because there's people that want, want to influence people in, in a way that I believe is negative. That's why there's negative and there's positive. You can define that by their fruits. If you choose to, by their outcome. You can de you can determine what is negative and what is positive. And, and your thinking will do that. Um, and hopefully your thinking within sports, within soccer, and it will allow you to reinvent yourself and to be able to deal with the challenges that comes with being a high performer. Um, it will always be barriers to your purpose. Like your purpose... Uh, it's not an easy part. It, it, it's like it shouldn't come out into the world because of what it's capable of doing. I said this before, there's good and there's evil. So there will always be an opposition to every and anything that you're doing in life. So your thinking is so important when it relates to, to change. If you're doing something really good, expect bad, expect negativity, expect all of those things. Don't be, don't be faced by it. I know we're all humans. We will. Uh, you hear something that, you know, it's not really nice about yourself. It, you know, tend to make you feel a certain way. Um, but it's important that you have that expectation whenever you're trying to do something that is right. And you say, well, what is right? Again, by their fruits, you shall know them. If something inspires and empowers and influences people to go in directions away from where they were going that was giving them trouble, then good. You, 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 could, you could define that as good. When you do something that constantly demoralize people's spirit, discourage them, make them feel depressed, make them don't want to live, well, you're doing a fantastic job of bad. Because whatever the negativity that you're spewing out, it's it given it's not a challenge. Because people will feel those those same emotions when they're challenged to do something right and they're finding it hard to do it. But there's something that makes them want to come back, not want to go. They might run because something else is happening that's affecting their thinking that is in, in total opposition to what you are doing that had them in the instant uh, 
had them in the in the first phase of their challenge that make them want to turn back, but they keep coming. I had one player who keeps saying, every time we train, he'd be like, oh my God, it's too hard. I'm not coming back. And he will keep coming. He will keep coming. Now he's older and, and, and playing in, in, in playing playing at a different level. We, we talk about that. We talk about that all the time. So there's so many days I went home and said, I'm not coming back. This is too hard. This is what is wrong with this guy. But he kept coming. Because it was honest work. It was work that you had to adapt to. You, it was an uncomfortable work. That's what it is. His thinking needed to change. He needed to see it for what it is and what it can do. He, he needed to see the outcome. You have to be able to reinvent yourself. And that comes with how you think. Because change is coming. And when that change comes, it must find you with a mind or with a mindset that, excuse me, that welcomes that, that understand it's important. It's important for me to learn. It's important for me to grow. It's important for me to advance. This must happen. Don't run away from it. Because I'm telling you, Every day there are things that are trying to influence your thinking and have an impact on your life. Negative and positive, and, they, and it's a battle. It's a battle. It's a real war. It's a real fight. And oftentimes the negative always gives you this sense of comfort. And the, the thing that's supposed to enhance your life if for some reason, it's the greatest challenge. Now, back in school, there was a day called Goal Day, and you had to get up and talk about your goals. And, and I remember getting up and I said, I wanted to be an international player, a professional player. And there was resounding laughter. And I was embarrassed. I was like, wow. But I knew why. They would laugh and make fun of it because the expectations and the standard was too high to think about based on where I was, based on my life, based on my situation, as humble as it was. Um, it wasn't a possibility. The present situation said it wasn't a possibility. What if? What if my thinking would have stayed in that norm, in that commonality of what a youth should turn out to be? based on the expectation of society, based on the thinking of the colonial masters and, and how they make a person like me should think about themselves and don't see further than where he can go. That was too big of a thinking for them. Even the teacher laughed, which was... It says a lot. I made a decision to, to, by God's grace, to have a different thinking. Because I want, I knew, or I believe that change is possible. That had to be, that had to be God, because in an environment like that, it's, it's, it's okay 
So don't change your thinking. It's okay to don't expect changes. It's okay to believe things will remain the same. It's okay to not worry about what you can be, but be who you are. <laughs> not what you can be, but be who you are. This, this is as far you, this is as far that you will go. Uh, there's so many young people who are struggling with the same thing. Near and far. Um, I have to change. I have to change my thinking and believe that things will change. And I trained. I trained. I trained with that idea. I, I, I believe. I, my, my thinking was it can happen. It can happen. They laugh some more. It can happen. Oh, you're wasting your time. It can happen. Change will come. It will come. It's constant. Yes, I have to believe. It happened. Because nothing can stay the same. You have to, you have to change your thinking. It is key to understanding change. As a man think it in his heart, so is he. Thinking is a very important component when it comes to changes in life. Then on the other side of the fence, <laughs> there's people who will constantly make you think that you're making, um, you're making decisions that will not facilitate your economic situation or your livelihood because you want to play sports. It's you want to play soccer. And that is by fear. That is by fear. So what do you think will happen to you in life when things change? And you don't have all your... You don't have all your ducks in a row. What do you think will happen? The thing that was planted will now come to the forefront. It's dangerous. Uh, better people make you better. It's important to surround yourself with people who understand that your thinking is important. How you think. How you think. How you think. I'll say it a million times. How you think. You. It's important. And when you develop that skill, you you begin to observe people and they they behave, and you know, you know, you're able to figure them out. You're able to figure out their thinking because now their thinking lead to their behavior, their actions. But wherever you are right now, you're thinking how you think needs to be very, very important. Because change is coming. Things change. And yet then it needs to find a healthy mind, a healthy level of thinking when it happens. I don't care what you've done. I don't care how bad they think you are. I don't think I don't care how worse. You can be the worst person in the eyes of many. You could be so dysfunctional and whatever. Start thinking differently. You not you will not remain where you are. 
things change. And this is key for change. The way you think. What else is key there? Winding down. Communication. Communication. Well, a lot of people are a lot of... Long before now, I think communication was always about saying something. It's also listening. And a lot of people issues with change is what they say and what they hear. A lot of people issues. They they and if you if you're unwilling to communicate better to enhance your communication skills, then you're unwilling to grow. And if you don't grow and change find you in in the place of comfort, excuse me, then you know what will happen. It's really important to change your communication. So understand the importance of it because it builds great connections. And all these things are ready in you for change. Because things will change. Things change all the time. A lot of what you hear and a lot of what you say, which is communication, will determine how you deal with, with changes in your life. So you have to learn to communicate. Um, And connection is so important. You need to be able to connect with the right people with changes. When changes come, you need to be able to connect with the right people. You need to be able to listen to the right people. You, you need to be able to speak to the right people. Those people that will challenge you, but at the same time uplift you. Those people that will hold you accountable, people that will teach you about responsibility. It's a hard life. There's so many things that young people are dealing with on the field, off the field, that they struggle even to deal with the challenges that's supposed to move them in a different direction that will help them. And you need that in your life. You need someone to say, hey, get yourself together. I know this is what you want. I know this is where you want to go. I know this is tough for you to, to overcome, but I have to drill this in you because if the more I drill this in you, the more it takes precedent over the thing that is driving you in the direction that you don't want to go. So you have to listen. And you have to be willing to be honest and, and speak about what is challenging you because change, things change. Things will change. How will it find you? Will you just be quiet? Will you keep everything inside because of pride and, and because you don't want to embarrass uh, embarrass your family and you know they have status and, and they they look well rounded and they they look like everything is going well in their lives because they're 
they're set. And yet, and then this change come and you and you stuck in that place and you, you don't know if you want to live anymore. Because you can't communicate what is happening to you. And you find it hard to listen to things that will challenge you and will hold you accountable. So uh, things will change and it, it will affect you. So communication, very important. When you look at impactful people in the world, people who have influenced others, they were good at communicating their message. And the only way they could do that is because they, I believe, listen to people. They heard their voices. Martin Luther King. Um, if you ever had a chance to listen to Walter Cronkite. How they communicate things, they, they draw you in. They had the, you could say they had the skill to make you want to listen. Don't judge the man by based on who he is, but based on his character. You, that gives you something that, that makes you think that, listen, it don't matter what I look like, where, how intellectual I am, but what? My character, I need to fix that. I need to make sure it's okay. That came from someone communicating that message. And someone will, something will happen. Your life will change and you, you need that. So that communication, you need that to say, to remind you like, yes, it is what it is now, but I, I can... I can build my character. Because change will come. And you, you need to be able to communicate. You, you need it. It's a vital part. It's a vital part. John F. Kennedy said that what he said, he said that um, everyone has a change, the world speech in them. Communication. I change the world speech in them. Things will change. Things change all the time. Must be able to communicate. You talk to young players all the time. You said, how are you feeling? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Their own feelings, they don't know. They don't know. It's an honest answer. What do you think you should be doing in this moment? The first thing, I don't know. I don't know. That's the communication. I'm talking about articulating yourself and being all intellectual. It's your ability to share your what you are experiencing, what you are going through, what you're dealing with, you know. What is the challenge? What what is going on? Then now to listen to to guidance and to be like, oh, I'm distracted. This is too long. My attention span is weak. Finally, people. People are very vital in changes. Now, I learned a long time and more now that be careful of people who find ways to destroy your life.
be careful. People can destroy your life unintentionally because emotions go all over the place. I'm not talking about that. Everybody, every single person have a choice when it comes when it relates to themselves and how they feel and what they want to do. But when your actions become one to affect someone else's life directly, um, and there's so many people like that, and 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 those people are oftentimes the one closest to you, family members, loved ones. Things will change. And what the type of people you have around you is crucial to your advancement or your destruction. I don't care who they are. Once they are part of your destruction, Move thousand miles away from them. It don't matter who they are. Because things change. If you're ready for it, if you wanted it, if this was your if if this was an intentional choice. If it was, oh, I was planning this, it, it don't matter. Things change. And people play a major role. They are key to when things change. You need people. You can't live this life without people. Um, that's why we're all here. Be your brother's keeper. All of those things, it matters. One can put a thousand, two could put ten thousand. All these things matter. So people are important. You have to, uh, you have to understand that things will change, and who, who will be there? What type of people will be there? Things change. They're no longer around you, but they were on you now what what are they saying you know there's one thing about relationships people always trust you with whatever they have and you see people go their separate ways and all the skeletons in the in the closet comes out like that wasn't given to you by trust by respect, by relationship. You see it so many times. People who, who knew people and know certain things about them, which they can only do because of the relationship, outside of that, they would never know it. Now things change is a chance now to go tell people about things you know in trust. It's a dangerous thing. But, like I said, if you understand people in this world of change, don't let it get to you so much. I know it's a hard one, but it's part of life. It's part of change. It's, it's important that you understand it. You understand what type of thinking, how you need to communicate, and the people. You want to play the game of soccer at a high level. You want to learn. You want to move forward. You want to be better. It's the people, the people that you trust the people that are supposed to believe in you the most, young people, sometimes are the ones who make you think that you know good. You should go in a different direction. Oh, I've seen it. I've heard it.
And while they think it's done in good faith or it's done in concern, uh, the athlete not ready. They don't know how to deal with it. They're confused. They're demotivated. They're, they lose their will. Um, they lose any courage. They, they, and because it's coming from people and they don't expect that change. So now they're in, in, in a place where they're lost. They don't know where to turn. You should expect it because only those people can do it. It's very important to observe people. Because change is constant. Things change all the time. You must not be afraid. You must not go into a position of fear. But when you relinquish whatever power or whatever you want to give, uh, you must be, it must be your story. It must be a story of overcoming. It must be a story of redemption. It don't matter what they do with it. It don't matter what they say. It don't matter how far they carry it. You must be able to look at yourself and say, yes, that was a moment that I learned my lesson. This is who I am. That is what, that is what you want to be able to do. Because people are important in this process. Think about these things. Think about these things uh, as you move forward in life. Because change is coming. It's already here. Wherever you stand in, wherever you are right now, things will change. Things will change. I, You could be the most comfortable person. You could be going all over the world. You could be traveling from Dubai to wherever. You you could have all your ducks in a row. You could have everything. Your life is set in your from your pers perspective. Things change. And they will change. You could be the worst person going through hell. Problems after problems, struggle after struggle, mistakes after mistakes. You must also understand things change and they will change. Keep going. Be ready. Not so much keep going. Be ready. Be ready. Don't get ready. Be ready. Get your thinking right. Start communicating better. And understand people. Because they will be all, all of these things will be a part of this constant, which is change. Stay blessed. Enjoy the rest of your week. Now is the time to keep your family warm with quality insulation for your home from Pro Insulation Company. At Pro Insulation, we solve all your residential and commercial insulation needs. Attics, crawl spaces, walls and ceilings, new and existing homes, and we offer traditional insulation and spray foam. Call Pro Insulation Company today for your free in-home estimate. For all your insulation needs, Leave it to the pros and call Pro Insulation Company in Plainfield today.